Good morning, Senex. Please stop what you're doing and stand for prayer. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God of strength, thank you for the joy and enthusiasm found in competition. May, we, may competing make us strong, but never hostile. Guide us not to rejoice in the adversity of others when we win. Keep us from boasting when we lose. Keep us from making excuses. May we use our gifts and talents to always serve a world in need. May everything we do glorify you. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, St. X. You could say aloha, St. X. It's pajama, not pajama day. It's, it's Hawaiian day. It's Hawaii, Tomorrow is pajama it's Hawaiian day. day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, yeah. Well, yeah, right. tomorrow is pajama day. There you go. Students let's, must, let's get this kid, please. <laughs> students must wear athletic shoes or school dress shoes with their pajamas. All clothing must contain appropriate words and images. If you need some appropriate pajamas, the campus store just got a shipment of St. X pajama pants. The store is operating on extended hours this week. They will open until 6 p they are they will be open until 6 p.m. today, until 5 p.m. tomorrow, and until 3 p.m. on Friday. As a reminder, Friday's game is a gold out. SAC will be selling gold t-shirts this week in the SAC office at lunch. The SAC office is located at the end of the cafeteria hallway. Also, tickets for this week's game will be completely digital. It's highly recommended that you go buy your tickets in advance. Go to sanex.com or use the QR code on the cafeteria screens for the link to purchase tickets. Tickets can also be purchased with your mobile device at the game. The next intramural event is a kickball tournament. It will take place on Sunday, September 25th. Details and registration forms are in the cafeteria hallway. See or email Mr. Durbin with any questions. Don't forget to bring in food for the Tackling Hunger Food Drive. You may bring in food donations to the CERN gym before school this week. We are asking each student to bring in 10 pounds for Dare to Care. Let's do our part to support this important cause. Let's take a look at some of the many ways Dare to Care helps those who are hungry in our community. A big part of what we do at Neighborhood House is we feed families. Our emergency food bank is serving about 200 families every single month. That's up 25% from last year, and we don't really expect that to go down any. We've also served over 40,000 meals last year. When everything in the city was shut down, we came in for two hours a day and kept the food pantry open. We'd serve 33 people a day in those two hours, and I think people were appreciative of that because that was before the stimulus money was coming out. That was before people knew what was going to happen with uh, unemployment and anything they could get to help was good. If we're not up and operating, people aren't getting food. Here you go, Mr. Bacon. Have a good day. Thank you. People are going to need help stretching their food budget, really probably for the foreseeable future. One really exciting development for 2020 is a grant from our friends at Dare to Care which has allowed us to make a big expansion to our emergency food bank. That means we can serve more food and we also will have refrigerators and freezers, which means we can have more produce, more fresh food, stuff that our families really want and need. We're really excited. It will really change the way families in our neighborhoods can access food. This week's Banned Book Week as an annual event celebrating the freedom to read. This week's spotlights this week spotlights current and historical attempts to censor book in libraries or schools. Current book challenges have read has reached current book challenges have reached a critical level. Your school library supports freedom to seek out and express ideas, and we celebrate your freedom to read books with your own choosing. When 18-year-old Jamali Lewis learned that books were being banned from library shelves in different parts of the US, especially works dealing with black and or LGBTQ plus identity, he was shocked. This is like craziness, because some of these books have like really good themes. I'm just like, why are they trying to like 
take this away from us? Why are they trying to censor this information? I couldn't understand, like I couldn't fathom a reason. Now, as a member of the Brooklyn Public Library's Intellectual Freedom Teen Council, Lewis is spreading the word about Books Unbanned, a new initiative that offers free library cards and access to all half a million of its library books to young people nationwide. Nick Higgins is the Brooklyn Public Library's chief librarian. So what we're seeing is a lot of a lot of young people and a lot of parents of young people from across the country who live in these communities where identities are literally being stripped from shelves in their libraries. Like their existence does not matter and in fact they're being told that their identities don't matter and they shouldn't be there at all. So what we're trying to do is support those young people and those families who want something better for their children and to recognize that they, they are important, that they, their stories should be told and they, they matter. A study from the writer's organization PEN America found that more than 1,000 book titles, mostly addressing racism and LGBTQ plus issues, have been banned from U.S. classrooms and school libraries within the past year. The Bluest Eye by Nobel Prize winning author Toni Morrison is one such title. It tells the story of a young black girl who dreams about blue eyes, believes white skin to be beautiful and her blackness ugly. It also talks about rape, incest, domestic violence, alcoholism, infant mortality, and racism. That was enough for one Missouri school district to ban it. I really think it's important that like people read books like this, that like capture like the, like the feeling and the life of like living in certain situations that not everybody has to deal with. According to the Brooklyn Public Library site, individuals aged 13 to 21 can, for a limited time, apply for a free BPL e-card that provides access to the full e-book collection, as well as learning databases. The response has been overwhelming at times. We've answered thousands of emails personally. We, answer, we have a small team, small but mighty team, who answers emails and uh, direct messages on social media. Um, for all the teens and their parents who reach out to us across the United States. I'm inspired by it. Um, people love libraries. They love what we're trying to do. They love what libraries can and should be in their communities. Underneath the inspiration, though, is a measure of heartbreak as book challenges continue to target stories about black and or LGBTQ plus people. At the same time, I'm heartbroken because a lot of these stories are about people who, again, are being told by the seemingly responsible adults in their communities that they don't matter. And that, that, that breaks my heart. <laughs> Go to the CMC app to take our banned book survey, see how many challenged books you've already read, and be entered into, to win a prize. Don't forget that the Sockle Triple Header begins at 4.30 p, 4 p.m. today when the freshman team takes on Trinity at St. Brother Thomas More Stadium. The JV follows shortly after that with the varsity team hitting the pitch at 7.30 p.m. Get out and support your soccer tigers as they set out to sweep the rocks. Well, do you have, it, do yeah, you no, I have Mr. Uh, really good uh, news. Yesterday we had uh, 1,470 pounds. Uh, today we got 1,330 pounds. So wow. so far we got 2,800 pounds. Um, now the only downside of that is only 300 students have donated. That leaves about 800 of you. Uh, make sure you get in the food tomorrow, whenever you can. Mm -hmm. uh, we need every single one of you to come out and donate. Absolutely. Uh, beat Trinity for the uh, for the the not not competition we have. Anyway, remember St. X. Many brothers. One brotherhood. With compassion. Have a great day.